I don't think that this is the right question that genomics is leading breeding or breeders are leading that genomics assisted breeding. In my opinion, that genomics is already being used in the breeding program and we are talking about the crop improvement. Rather, I would say this is the high time now for different disciplines to come together and not only genomics and breeding, rather crop physiology, breeding informatics, etc. So we need to bring all these disciplines together. I call this approach translational genomics for agriculture. So this is high time now that we need to demonstrate the translation of genomics for crop improvement. I do not think that CGR Institute, they are investing more in high-end research. In fact, I would suggest that Advanced Research Institute, they are doing high-end research and let them continue to do it. But at the same time, CGR Institute, at present this is already happening, probably we need to be more aggressive, more proactive to work very closely with the Advanced Research Institute on one hand, on the other hand with the National Agricultural Research System so that CGR Institute can provide a conduit to translate the genomics or a hand research from Advanced Research Institute to the national program through NARS, through NGO, etc. So that's what I believe and I think that at ICRI said we are already doing that kind of work. Let me explain this thing here that when sometimes some people have this kind of feeling that genomics research funding is coming from the breeding or from the traditional or conventional breeding part. In fact, there are two different parts. So then whatever money was coming earlier to the conventional breeding, genomics research funding is not coming from that part. So there are two different parts. They do not, they are not competing for funding from the same part. Nevertheless, even if $100 comes from the breeding part, I don't mind to put this all $100 to, in, to be invested in genomics assisted breeding because I see lots of value from this genomics assisted breeding. I am not saying that you need to put all $100 in genomics research. I am saying we need to put this $100 in genomics assisted breeding because when you invest this genomics research into the breeding, you enhance the precision and efficiency of breeding program which will be continued for several generations. If you will be investing just in the breeding, this is only applicable for one year or for few years. So I would say that let's continue to work towards integrating genomics into breeding program and we need to move in this direction. So there is no point to divide the money from $100 into this thing. Again, let's put this money in the genomics assisted breeding or as I said earlier, translational genomics for agriculture. Well, if you see the private sector, for instance, multinational companies, Monsanto, Pioneer, etc., they are using, in fact, their products, whatever products comes in the market, all these products or when they are developing these products, this is through integrating of genomics in the breeding program. So if you go to the farmer's field, these products are already there from the private sector. From public sector also, if you see, again, CGR centers including ICRISAT, or even many other public sector breeding program in developed countries and nowadays happening in the developing countries as well. We already have these products in the farmer's field. Maybe a question is that how we would like to see these, these products in farmer's field in routine or in large scale. Then I would say that in next three to five years, because there are already many products in pipelines, some products which are in the farmer's field, they need to be upscale. So I see, I see that future of this translational genomics for agriculture is very bright. This is already happening and I firmly believe that this area will be enhanced further and you will be seeing many more products in next five years.